everybody, Brian from Hi-Fi Home Theater. I wanna do a real quick video uh, about these guys right here, this Y splitter, uh, especially when it comes to using these with subwoofers. Uh, all, a lot of times on the forums, on the Facebook groups, I see people post on their brand new subwoofers, they're all excited and, and it never fails. Someone's gonna pop on there and tell them they need to go out and get one of these so that they can get more bass out of their subwoofer. So I know a lot of you guys know this already, but just to let you know, this does not, although this has, does have a logical use for it, uh, this will not give your subwoofer more performance, more bass output. What this does do, what it's normally used for, is if you're having an issue with the auto turn on function on your subwoofer, a lot of the subwoofers on their power switch, they'll have an off, an on, and an auto. And a lot of people, you like to use the auto function so that their subwoofers aren't on when they're not using them. The problem a lot of people run into is when they use that auto turn on function, the depending on the subwoofer and the amplifier, it needs a certain amount of input signal voltage to trigger it to turn itself on. And sometimes your subwoofers just won't turn on or they're turning off in the middle of your music or your movies if you've got it down low, too low. And what this does is, you see it now, since it's, it looks like a, it's basically is a Y splitter, um, when you're using it for voltage, you would think that it would half the voltage, it would split the voltage, but it actually doesn't. The voltage remains constant on both outputs on here. When you plug this into your subwoofer cable from your AV receiver, you're going to end up with the same output voltage on each end of this connector. So when you go to your subwoofer and you plug one of these into the right and left input of your subwoofer, you're basically doubling the input signal of from the AVR to the subwoofer which in many cases is enough to wake up your subwoofer if you've got it in that auto uh, turn on function and you're having problems with it actually turning on. So that's really the, the most common use for these. Um, I could see you maybe doing the same thing if you're having a problem with either you're having to crank up the gain on your subwoofer higher than you'd like to, or you're trying to, or having to crank the, uh, the output level on your AVR higher than you want to. You wanna avoid clipping, but still get a good signal to it. That's also a good use for this cable. But one thing just to make clear, this does not increase the performance ability of the subwoofer itself. You're just doubling the input signal to the sub. All right, guys, just want to do a short video on that. Like I said, uh, this is a good one. This is really high, good quality, good connectors. I'll leave an a Amazon a affiliate link to this down in the description. And uh, let me know if you have any experience with this down in the comments. Thanks for joining. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button getting lots of views, but very high non-subscriber view count. So if you don't mind, uh, please, if you feel I've deserved your subscription, hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks for joining again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.